what's up American Dream TV? We are here in the historic Gilman Village. For lack of a better word, it is a shopping mall, but that just doesn't even do it justice. What the owners of this mall did was bring in a whole bunch of historic buildings, farmhouses, old barns, things like that. They actually trucked them in and made it a shopping center. You can see that we've got this old fashioned walkway, the pergola up above. Every single shop is in a different old building that they've brought in, which I think is genius. We're here, we're checking out the Flatiron Grill as well as the Black Duck Cask and Gut Bottle, which are my two favorite restaurants on the east side. Downtown Issaquah has got everything you need. Lake Sammamish is right here. We've got um, Tiger Mountain right here. You wanna go skiing, it's only 20 minutes towards Snoqualmie Pass. And of course, downtown Bellevue, the epicenter of the east side and all of the hiring, it's only 15 minutes to the west as well. So you just couldn't get a better location than Issaquah. So one of the things I find myself coming to the Gilman Village for besides the flat iron and the black duck is the white horse toy shop. Every time my kids, I've got a, two little kids, every time we've got a birthday party, this is where we come to get toys. They have more unique toys. They have some of the old fashioned wood toys, things like that. I just feel like I'm, I'm supporting a local small business and that just makes me incredibly happy. So now here we are in the Flatiron Grill, which is also in Gilman Village. It is a steakhouse, and but what it's really known for is its whiskey collection. As you can see on the shelves above me here, they've got a very extensive American whiskey collection. In fact, the owner tells me that it's the second largest whiskey collection in all of Washington State. And uh, one of the things they really do well here is that they have whiskey tasting classes as well as whiskey dinners where the chef pairs the food with the whiskey that they're serving. And actually my favorite thing that they do here is weekend brunch. They have, I think, the hands down best deck on in all of Issaquah. And you can do Saturday and Sunday brunch outside. Hey, what's up American Dream TV? We are here at the Black Duck Cask and Bottle. We are located in the classic Gilman Village in downtown Issaquah. This is my favorite bar in all of the Seattle metro area. They do a couple things really, really well. Not to mention, I think the ambiance is fantastic. In the summertime, they've got these garage doors that open outside and their food and beer. One of my favorite things about this uh, pub is, is that their garage doors open to the outside during the summer. I don't think there's a better place to come, have a fantastic burger, pizza. They've always got 16 beers on tap. We're gonna walk you through those here in a minute. Today, we've got the pepperoni pizza here. Also, the mac and cheese, which you can get with or without duck on top, which I think is genius. And then, when you can't decide about what kind of beer to have, this is generally what I do, and it's a sampler pack, and it's served in mini mason jars, which I find incredibly charming. And um, we're also gonna talk about the burger with our bartender, Kyle. So we're here with the very famous Kyle, the bartender at the Black Duck. And Kyle, can you tell me a little bit about what makes the burger here so fantastic? Well, uh, first off, it's the, the, the best quality ground beef you can buy. It's USDA prime choice. Um, it's 80-20. Fat is flavor. Uh, it's hand formed to order half pound patties. It's cooked in cast iron and bacon fat. And searing that off and getting that nice amount of flavor is really what makes it special. It's one of my favorite burgers ever. And did you all hear that? That fat is flavor. True though. Everyone goes to the grocery store and buys 93% ground beef and then cooks it on a grill for an hour and a half and it tastes like shit. Well, of course it's going to taste there's like There's no shit. fat and there's no, yeah. <clears throat> I've learned that. I now don't buy that. Hi, so my big pet peeve is the fact that every single bar in Washington seems to have the same five or six beers, the Manny's, the Mac and Jack's, the Stella's, the Bud Light's, and what I wanted to do here was just have 16 constant rotating tap handles. So the beers are always new. Every single week, the beers are different. There's always something new to try. Um, I've been in the beer business since I was 19, and I'm no longer 19, so I've done this for a long time, and to just try to find the best beers possibly available anywhere. I also understand you lovingly call the beer tap the Death Star. Okay, the Death Star hammer station. Uh, so some people when they were in high school had friends. I had Star Wars. And uh, as part of that, uh, we wanted a Death Star. I wanted a Death Star, and Sean was nice enough to agree to go along with that. So this is our Death Star. Uh, Ryan Gagnon is probably the most talented 
he's a welder, but he's not a welder. He's an artist, and he built this for us. A um, little mobile kind of satellite system. Always wanted a custom tap system, and obviously because we have 16 rotating taps, we can never have tap handles, so we built these little mini custom taps. So we're here on a beautiful spring day at the historic Gilman Village. Thank you so much for touring a couple of my favorite restaurants and shops, the Flatiron Grill, the Black Duck, and uh, we sure appreciate you coming along for the ride and we'll send it back to you, Craig.